Hello everyone, I wanted to show you the affixed vert system I'm using for my new fantasy game engine that I am not, haven't gotten very far in, as you'll see. But this is a pretty cool feature, so I figured I'd show everyone. I've got eight mannequins set up here, and one reference mannequin. Every mannequin has the same mesh, but they all have different shape keys or blend keys applied to them, so they all have different body types. They all have the same skeleton at the moment, and I'm not doing any skeletal stretching, so they all have the exact same height and the exact same basic width. But this is the sort of thing that's very easy to scale um, when, when you put in bone scaling. I just haven't gotten that far yet. They are all wearing the, the same tabard model, which is just something I threw together in about 20 minutes. And so let's hit play and see what happens. Now this is going to take a couple seconds because I don't have anything optimized in the slightest. There we are. And you can see that everyone's tabard now fits. Of course it fits the default character, because it was built for the default character. The big beefy character has it looking more like kind of a maid's frock rather than anything else. Um, this is because he has a tapering torso, which means that the anything he wears will also taper in that way. You could fix that if you'd like by putting a blend key on the... Um, on the cloth. If the cloth has the same blend key name as the body, it will inherit that from the body and it will therefore you can therefore adjust it so that it looks right on different body types if you'd like. This is a, just a generic female character, it looks fine. This is a generic heavy NPC like a baker or a butcher, it fits fine. This is a generic female warrior character, it fits fine. A very skinny character, it fits fine. This is a heavyweight female and a heavyweight male. They fit fine. There's a tiny bit of pop through on the belly there. Um, so if I was going to try and release this, I would probably want to fill that in. But all of these characters are, um, all of these clothes are currently in overlay mode, meaning that rather than replace the underlying mesh, they are overlaid on top of it. There aren't very many games that do it like that because you get a kind of floaty look. Uh, I think Age of Conan is the only, or whatever it's called, the, the Conan MMORPG, is the only fairly big game that, that does overlay clothes for core clothing. Uh, everyone does overlay clothes for things like capes and hats and hair, but uh, I'm talking about th for things like shirts and pants. This system, however, can work fine for re replacement mesh clothing, where this smock or uh, this uh, tabard would actually replace the, the core mesh. It would, the, the, I would like have the head and hands and legs all as separate pieces and this would replace the core body mesh. Um, I just haven't gotten that far because I'm not sure exactly what body morphs I'm actually going to settle on and I don't want to cut the mesh apart since it's almost impossible to stitch back together to morph again later. So it would just be a lot more runaround I'd have to do where I'd have to continually edit and recreate the cut up mesh and then recreate the mesh that the cloth, and it would just be a, a mess. It's easier to do it like this for now. The advantage of this system should be fairly obvious. Anyone that wants to create content can do it fairly easily. Uh, if you are going to create a new shirt, for example, you can go into Blender or Maya and load up, or 3ds Max, or whatever, load up the mesh, and since it's a CC0 mesh, I have no problem giving it away, and then you can just tailor yourself a pair of clothes on it, a set, a set of clothes on it. When you import it into the game engine, the game engine will automatically know how that is supposed to fit, and whatever the body type of the character, it will automatically adjust the clothing to fit well, or well-ish. Um, this is also a little bit more powerful than it sounds, because it supports custom per-character morphs. So, say for example that this character here uh, got a, uh, a uh, some kind of special magical shoulder plate um, that was in his skin, and it gave him a giant right arm. Ruh! Well, that giant right arm counts as his body, and all of the clothes will detect that the that the uh, uh, that the core mesh has changed, and they will naturally expand to stay around that new shape. Um, now there are some you have to approach that in a very specific way when you're doing the morphs on the body itself, but that's a very small price to pay for the ability to create custom morphs per character. And that also applies to things like if you wanted to create custom um, customizations to your character's mesh uh, as you're playing, just like whatever you want to do, you can do. If you wanted to, to for example, that custom arm idea, let's say you gave the player 100% control over that, and they could literally just put in whatever 
plates and spangles and baubles and round shapes and whatever they wanted in their arm as their arm. They could build themselves a mechanical arm out of, uh, out of gear components and stuff and make it look like whatever they wanted. The clothes would naturally understand how those gears were shaped and they would naturally move to be around those gears rather than cutting through them, which is a very powerful way to do it. Um, it's also compatible with other meshes, so if you wanted to put a new mesh in the game, all you would have to do is tweak the basic fit, and it would fit the new mesh just as well as it fit the old mesh. Uh, if you wanted to add new blend keys, it would automatically adjust to the new blend keys. Um, this makes for a very moddable approach, and I'm really hoping it pans out. Anyway, thanks for your time.